Early on Saturday morning, a surprising and startling attack was launched on Israel. Israel is a relatively new country on the far eastern edge of the Mediterranean Sea. It was created with the support from many countries, including the United States, to be a safe home for the Jewish people. But many of Israel's closest neighbors do not agree it should be a country. They view the territory as their homeland instead. Although Israel was founded in 1948, several wars have already been fought over which groups control which land. Early on Saturday morning, another war began. Along the southern edge of Israel is a particularly contested area called the Gaza Strip. If this area belongs to Israel, or, it, or it's its own country, is one of the tensest, hardest questions people around the world try to answer. Despite Israel saying it's theirs, Gaza has a government that was elected by the people who live there. This government is run by a group called Hamas. Hamas won the election in Gaza in 2006, but that was the last time an election was held in Gaza. And it was Hamas's military that launched rockets and sent soldiers over the border into Israel today. In response, Israel launched rockets into Gaza. Although this is frightening, and there is much unknown at this time, all of the countries and people who care about Israel and Gaza are trying to calm both groups down. Diplomats will have discussions and try to stop any more fighting, and we will learn in the coming days if a compromise can be reached.